Normally when I'm in search of an angry mob of people screaming anti-science, deep state, vaccine, microchip, conspiracy jazz, I head to the heartland of America. But it turns out I can find those very same people right here in my own backyard in New York City. That's right. Last week, outside of Mayor Bill de Blasio's home, there was a group protesting his new mandate that customers show proof of vaccination in order to enter restaurants, gyms, and theaters. It was a mix of hardcore anti-vaxxers, people who are okay with vaccines but hated the mandate, and then, of course, some people who put together a Joker costume once, loved the attention, so now that's pretty much all they do. I'm the only one in my family that hasn't gotten the vaccine. It's not approved by FDA. I don't know what's in that. Women are miscarrying. People are having their DNAs wiped out. What? What do you mean? Like completely like, wiped out? Yeah. They're telling women that it's okay for you to get the vaccine. What does it mean their DNA is wiped out? Like their, their immunity. Their immunity is, is getting wiped out. Because I was saying, like, COVID wiped out 600,000 DNAs. Yes, of course, you yeah. know? Actually, some people have died from the vaccine. Don't believe me. Go to the media. Go to the Google or... Uh, uh, some people have died from COVID. Yes. So many more than from the vaccine. One thing with me, I try not to argue facts. I don't believe that suggesting strongly and coming out with mandates for vaccine is a way of medical intervention. This is not what I believe in. That's a lot of quotes. People from both sides of the issue came from far and wide to express their hate or love of vaccines. But I think you're killing people. I think you're killing people. Don't get your vaccine! Yeah, come over here, let me cough on you. Oh, full of shit. You know, Thank Ron DeSantis you. and Ted Cruz have both been vaccinated. Bullshit. This is why I love doing interviews in New York. You're from Pennsylvania. Yes, because we know it's coming to Pennsylvania. How important is it like that to think ahead to, to protect something before it gets out of control? It's everything. It's everything because once it's gone out of control, you don't reel it in. Right, like that's why it's important for everybody to get a vaccine, squash it before it gets out of control. That's why what? It's important that we take the vaccine, squash oh it. Oh my get God, what side are you on? Are you nuts? No, what were you talking I'm not about? I'm talking to you. What were you talking about? I am not for the vaccine. Are you out of your mind? Well, you were just talking about getting ahead of it. Getting ahead of the mandate. The mandate is what's spreading. Yes. We don't oh. want the mandate to come to PA. We don't want to take the vaccine. Oh. Why should I? You see why I'm confused, though. Clearly, putting potentially harmful toxins into your body was something these anti-vax mandate health nuts were very concerned about. My name is Edwin Dela Cruz, and I'm running for city council. Running for New York office. As a, as a Republican. As a Republican. The science is still new. We still have question marks. We rushed the science. We were moving at warp speed. Well, we moved at warp speed. So Donald Trump rushed it. Not correct. Who rushed it? Who rushed it? Uh, <laughs> can I ask, how about if we change places and I start attacking you? <laughs> you're, you're the one who's running for public office. No. The Republicans of New York were clearly trying to move on from the past, and in some cases, forgetting it completely. My name is Vish Burra, and I'm the vice president of the New York Young Republican Club. This is a protest against the anti-freedom mandates from a petty tyrant like Bill de Blasio. Do you think this is something the Founding Fathers would be would support? The Founding Fathers would support vaccine mandates. Yeah. No, I don't believe so. George Washington had a vaccine mandate. Well, that's OK. Oh, what, what, you that's said- That's OK. You, oh, he's a lower Founding Father. I mean, I, I love the lore. But at the end of the day, we are the ones who have to deal with what is going on in America today. What are you going to miss out on uh, if this mandate prevents you from doing I just tried to get some Thai. I love Thai food. I just tried to get some Thai food around the corner. They told me I couldn't sit down and eat. I can't go in a restaurant. I can't go to a music club. 50% more people who are not going to go out to eat. Do How are they going to get food? Exactly. Yeah, right? So yeah, maybe they'll go out of state and come back. I don't, who knows? If only like the city had a seamless way to get food to their door, fresh, direct way well, to get there, maybe, you know? Maybe that's it. Their point is this mandate is a slippery slope that only leads to hyperbole. So many don't get it. It's 1937 and never again is now. Do not comply to showing your papers. This isn't Nazi Germany. Maybe you can help me out. I, I'm seeing signs that say vaccine mandates are fascism. And also signs that say vaccine mandates are communism. Which one is it? It's both. It's both. Those are diametrically opposed ideologies. I don't think it's communism. I think it's more like a dictatorship. Like we're living in a, like a Nazi Germany again. The only thing that's missing is the camps and the gas. 
That's what's happening right now? Yes. Because you can't go to a concert? I can't go to a concert. I can't go to a gym. Do you think that's what it was like in Nazi Germany? People were bitching more... about not going to a gym? Mm -hmm. Regardless of our differences, this was still New York. A melting pot crammed onto an island, then pushed into a subway car with a rat eating pizza. You're not left or right. You're a new Yorker. And we're in this together. Uh, well, I mean, I've heard the we, we live in a society line a million times, and we're over it. The we the people thing holds no sway for you. No, we the people is... Who are the, right then now. who are the people of the we the people that you are willing to support? It's definitely not the illegal immigrants that are bringing COVID over, over our border right now, that's for sure. I do not believe that vaccine mandates are constitutionally uh, supported. Which is a bummer because the Supreme Court has upheld it many times. It's not my court. All right, well, enjoy. I hope you don't get sick. Good luck to everyone out there, and may you get the pad CU our founding fathers said you deserve to eat inside during a global pandemic.